Look at this fish, it's more like a snake fish. Ooh. Right, so today has been a very productive first day. So we landed here at um, half past six in the morning, UAE time, and we got um, here uh, to our hotel at about eight, okay? So we couldn't check in the room till about three. So what we did was we went to the aquarium for a bit, we had breakfast, we had a look round, and then we went to this amazing water park, which is next door. There is a, la um, um, a lazy river, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but it probably touches over an hour, probably about an hour 15 to get around it. Because in Dubai, everything has got to be bigger and better. They have like the fastest roller coaster, which we're likely to go on. They've got the tallest building, obviously the Burj Khalifa. We, we, we took a few photos of it earlier. Um, so yeah, they've just got to go over the top. And basically we went on, I think six rides and the lazy river. And there's still like a whole nother area of the water park we've not discovered. So that will keep us busy. They are quite relaxed about filming, filming, like you can take like cameras and stuff in. But we didn't film today just to like get our bearings and everything. But um, I will be in future. Of course we are only here because it's Ramadan, okay, which means it's cheaper. But it doesn't actually really affect this area, it only affects like the main city. Like this area is the palm and it's, it's alright to be fair. The Ramadan rules don't apply because it's very touristy. But when we enter out into the city, we're not allowed to eat or drink during daytime hours. So that should be interesting. But, and also the reason why it was low price is because in June it starts to get really hot. And obviously it's May now, it's the end of May, so we're nearly into June. But I don't think the heat's too bad. It's been like 37, 38, which is actually a nice temperature when you're swimming. Because like you get out of the water and you're not cold, which is normally when you go swimming, especially in an outdoor pool in England, you get out of the water and it's freezing. But here it's all right. The only problem is um, the floor is boiling, so you have to make sure you have um, flip-flops on. So when you go on the rides, you've got to kind of stuff the flip-flops in, you know, like a rubber ring as a handle on. You've got to like stuff your flip-flops into the handle, but that's not um, too major an issue. The heat's nice to sit in and relax in, but if you're um, running or like doing some kind of sport, then it might be a bit too much. But um, but no, it's not too it's not too bad. And I'm wearing a shirt now because we are about to go for an evening meal. It is like quarter to five because I've been up since like four UAE time because I stayed awake for like the last two and a half hours of the flight. It feels a lot lot later. I've oh literally I did not sleep at all on the flight. I've had about a 15 minute nap just, and that's the only time I've slept. So we're going for this posh meal now, so that's why I'm wearing a shirt. Um, so hopefully I don't fall to sleep during it. The flight here was six and a half hours, which is the length of a school day. So it was toler tolerable. And like when you go to Singapore, it's like 14 hours, 15 hours without any sleep, and that's just oh, so annoying. But this wasn't too bad. Aston Villa play Derby tomorrow in the playoff final, so hopefully Villa can win and get to the Premier League. I've got the Sky Sports app downloaded specially on my phone for it, and we're delaying our evening meal till 8.30 um, because of it. So hopefully it doesn't go into extra time and penalties, but Villa should hopefully um, win before that anyway. my first ever time eating sushi. So I'm going to put the soya sauce on bit. it. Only a bit. Gluten free soya sauce. Baby octopus. Go for it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Verdict. <laughs> it's very like fishy.
What building in Singapore does it um, copy, remind you of? These islands here, the ones in the far distance, they depict the world and the millionaires buy them, but you can't really see it because it's a bit kind of misty because it's a desert today. So there is a device here and we've ordered food so this device here will beep when um, the food is ready. Please come to the pickup desk. Smart invention.
Holmes just had his photo taken on those thrones. How ridiculous. Right, so this is almost the end of another day in Dubai. So this is going to mark the end of the first video because um, we've been here for f three days, but four days if you class the flight. And we're only here for two more days. So that two days and the flight home will be in the next episode. So today has been quite busy. I, we've done the scuba diving, we've been to the water park, and we also d did that wave machine, okay? Um, the scuba diving was good. I quite liked it, because I've not done something like that before. It was hard at first to get used to the concept of breathing underwater, and we did a f couple test runs, and I panicked and just wanted to come up. But um, after that, it was pretty good. I did a bit by myself, but most of it was led by the, di uh, the uh, diver who was with me, the instructor. Um, some of it um, I did by myself, so he wasn't like dragging me around the whole time, which was good. Um, after reviewing the footage, I found that I moved my arms a lot compared to him, and he did actually say that. And also, he was doing bigger movements with his flippers. I was doing little movements with my flippers, and the majority was um, was hand movements. So we are going to go to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant now. I can't see what I'm filming with my sunglasses on because the sun's so bright, so just making sure my face is on view. And um, we're going to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Basically, there's some restaurants which are free, but then there's some which you have to pay extra for. Now, this is one of the ones you have to pay extra for because it's my mum's birthday and she wanted to go. So um, this isn't, like, included in half board. It is, we just have to pay a bit extra. Also, the, um, the wave, well, I don't know what to call it, like, where the surfboarding, that's probably a better word. Um, it was it was quite good. He was trying to get me to like kneel up at the end, but um, I, I couldn't do it. But I I did I think I did quite well. It it was fun, but like then a guy a guy demonstrated himself on it and he was doing flips and all sorts. So I'm not really at their level. But like I'm pretty proud of myself that I actually like stayed on it and didn't like shoot up to the top every two seconds because that is like the risk. And I actually managed to control myself. Like when I went to ten left, I did. So yeah, that is quite successful. So it's a very nice view I have, the sun is very very bright.